Sandy Vlogs. We're here with Alex at the airport. We're about to jet off to Hong Kong for a couple months just to study. Harry's here as well. The whole gang's gonna be together. I just want to point out that that is the sickest McDonald's ever. So you order down the bottom there and then there's like a little conveyor belt thing that operates like the old kitchen's at the top and then the food comes down the conveyor belt. I don't know how, well only me, Harry didn't sit with me and I was like, oh let's move to him, like don't worry about the legroom seat. And they're like, oh, like they thought we had already paid for it, but we hadn't. But I'm like, not complaining, so Harry also got upgraded to free legroom seat. So Luxury, I've also got like a window seat, so it's just watch the world go past. three days. First impressions of the city, well it's pretty freaking big, like there's a lot of lights everywhere and I've never seen so many apartment blocks that look the same in a row that are so tall. It was like huge developments, never seen anything like that in Sydney. And Sydney's like the most small, you know, town but this is like next level mega city stuff. Yeah, we're just hanging out, got a nice bougie bed. The flight was pretty chill. I watched like an entire season of iZombie, which is pretty good. Tomorrow we're gonna be apartment hunting. Both today I'm gonna try and get all of our stuff organized, kind of like suss out the town. Uh, it's quite warm at the moment, not this apartment room, but outside it was like 11 p.m. and it's still like 26 degrees, humid, a little bit wet as well so hopefully the whole time is not like this but I guess we'll see anyway I'm pooped I'm gonna go catch some Z's have a shower and we'll see you tomorrow morning we have found the Smirnoff ices for roughly $2.50 which is much cheaper than you usually pay $6 and we have the summer's fees as well which are $3 for a bottle. Uh, alcohol selection's looking very good. Jacob's Creek, which is easily the cheapest wine in Australia, is about $30. What do you got, Umbrella? How long is it, Harry? Pretty long. How many carriages do you reckon? Maybe like 10, 15? 15 carriages long. That's wild. So we just had our first experience on the MTR. Only cost us a dollar Australian, which is crazy. Very fast. And there were people actually giving up their seats for other people, which is very rare in Australia. So we're currently at Shamshire Pur, and we're trying to source a SIM card somewhere down there. Not sure exactly where. Like 400 times, and we were like, Look, we're just not gonna do it. 
couple more lined up. We're currently in Causeway Bay here, which you can't really see a bay yet, but I'm sure there is one somewhere around here. Um, we've got our SIM card, 40 gigabyte, last 365 days, and it was like 25 Australian dollars, which is a deal. So we've made our way to the hot pot. We got the fizzy green grape juice, all you can eat for $16 um, buffet. There'll be a hot pot there soon. We've got the pork bone collagen. Um, and apparently there's free desserts as well. So you can get four you can eat in 60 minutes. Chuck something in, lad. We've got the enoki mushrooms, which is like easily the best type of mushroom. Um, also we've got the beef. We have Korean cake, fresh noodle, salmon ball, baby corn, uh, fresh ramen. Then we also have some enoki mushrooms, spring onions, some miscellaneous mushroom. We have tofu pops and dumplings. We also have a funny little fish cake. Apparently, it's like a little cow stamp on it. That's a salmon ball. We're about to get a live review of strange little uh, fish cake. It's literally like a fish ball, but square. <laughs> fish square. <laughs> Changes. Uh, some places it's like walking left, some places it's saying walking the right, some places it's just like it's free for all. Uh, what's your highlight of the day so far, Alex? Hot pot. Hot pot? What part of the hot pot? What part? What's your the hot? The hot was the part of the hot pot. I like the hot. Hot. <laughs> Umbrella, Alex. There's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> what is that? What is that? <laughs> it's for the groceries, though. Demonstration of the how the umbrella works. <laughs> there you go. I'm gonna be at Greasy Mess. We made a quick little stop to a supermarket. We've got satay beef noodles and fried Julie garlic oil noodles. And these are like two Australian dollars each. And then we also got some bevies in our tiny little fridge. Oh, we have two dollar beer, three dollar vodka, lime, and pineapple, and a giant bottle of Ravina for three dollars. So Probably gonna be a bit of a lit night. Probably not. I'm kidding. There's like two drinks in. Friday night, done right. Got me body, and I'm just relaxing in my hotel room while watching a lovely video about Hong Kong. All right, we're on again for our breakfast. What have you procured, Harry? Yeah, toast. Some toast. Some 
something miscellaneous meat and I've got much the same except I've got two eggs. These eggs are pretty good. Never had a white egg but I rate it. So our plan for today is to keep looking for an apartment, I'm not doing too badly, we have one at ten and then I guess we're just going to try and see what the day takes us. Uh, we really have to plan you know, by 2pm because we're getting kicked out of this place tomorrow morning. We also have a breakfast salad going. Tomatoes, miscellaneous white sauce, balsamic vinegar, leaf, leaf, and corn. And I have a piece of bread, and yeah, my egg's still in there. nice apartment like it was quite big but the only drawback was that it was on the fifth floor of a walk-up building which means there's no lift which means we're sweating quite a bit where are we right now harry central, central what Central Station. How do you think it compares to Australia, like Sydney Station? About the same. About the same? I think it's bigger. I think Central Station here looks kind of bigger. It reminds me more of an airport as opposed to like just more open. Yeah, true. walking through Kowloon Park which has like a giant swimming pool in it. Oh, as you can see. Huge heckin' swimming pool which is nice because it is really hot. And by some miracle we've actually organized another house viewing um, just today in a place that's right near this park. It's got like a big place you can run around in. Oh my gosh look how nice it is. Like literally it's like 34 degrees or something stupid like that right now. I'm sweating humid I'm ready for a swim and if we can move in this area that would be really good how do you feel hot That's sweaty. how are you gonna do this for four months <laughs> checking out early are you after a day of looking we don't have a perfect solution but we do have a kind of a temporary solution. We're gonna give the one that's probably the furthest away from Harry's uni a go. It's really like a nice apartment, it's quite big. And we're gonna do it for 30 days, like one month, um, just because it is quite far away and see how the travel and commute goes and we can kind of extend it because it's through Airbnb um, and just kind of see how that goes for a month. And if, you know, it doesn't work out, we can always you know, find somewhere new. I'm gonna end the video here, guys. We're going out to dinner to hit up the markets. If you like this video, then make sure you leave a big thumbs up. And if you wanna see more videos from me about my little life in Hong Kong, then make sure you smash that subscribe button with a little bell, turn the notifications on so whenever there's a new video, you'll be able to see. And just let me know in the comments below what you thought. All right, I'll catch you around.